Good morning. Um, I have slides, but I cannot, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Is this is the clicker? Ah, okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my firm, then I'm going to talk about climate change and hopefully what we can do about it together. I'm going to finish with a very funny cartoon. <laughs> um, Okay, so a little bit about us. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Hales. I work for Boston Common Asset Management, which is a global sustainable investment firm. We were founded in 2003, and we integrate environmental, social, and governance factors alongside financial factors in all of our strategies, and we have done since inception. We manage about 2.7 billion in assets, and our clients are institutions like foundations and endowments, and also individuals. And a unique feature of our investment process or of investment management approach is the shareholder engagement, share owner engagement activity that we get involved with. And I use this slide to illustrate that we collaborate with some of our competitors, we like to call it coopetition, in order to move companies and whole sectors to address social and environmental issues which are relevant to their long-term performance. And we engage because we think it helps us improve the financial performance of the companies that we invest in. So it's not because it's a nice thing to do, but because we think it actually makes for better long-term performance. It helps correct the focus on excessive short-termism, which is the other thing I wanted to talk about today. So um, the questions I had for the group was, what are you supposed to do about problems like climate change? What are the practical steps that you can take? And can this approach potentially work for other issues? And you can imagine that I think it can work for any number of issues, not just climate change. So I'm going to focus on the things that I think you should do. Uh, spend more time on issues. And I think this really is about the investment beliefs of the organization. It's going to be different for every endowment. And how you think about how to implement these issues is going to be different. But clarifying the investment beliefs of your institution is key and agreeing your position on a range of sustainability issues, not just climate change. The resources that you need to devote to this. This is about setting the right incentives, researching your investment consultants, financial advisors, the actual investment managers that you hire. What kind of expertise do they have in ESG? Ask them. Put it in the mandates that you put out. Join collaborative initiatives like IEN and the other ones that I had up. You can learn from your peers. And eventually, I hope that you'll also be thinking about voting your proxies and engaging with companies directly or via your investment managers and investing in some of the sustainability theme funds that are on offer from many of my colleagues in the room today. There are lots of issues that are relevant, not just climate change. Um, biodiversity, forests, water, governance, sustainable capitalism, by that I mean labor standards and human rights. And I think all of those issues are relevant to how the long-term performance of your portfolios um, will be affected. And I mention that because, my last slide. So corporate managers can act as if they're playing a one-term game. And as investment managers, we're making a bet on the future about what we want the future to look like as endowments are, as all investors are. So we don't want them to just do that one-time game. We want them to have a repeatable, sustainable <laughs> approach. And I just want that to be the image that you keep in your mind for the end. Thanks.